Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Brad Meyer from Stephen F. Austin State University and right now I'm going to give you some general tips on the Allstate Etudes that you can apply to any of them. So the first one is going to be Dr. Meyer's rule of thumb and that is to play it at 50% tempo or slower when you first start learning the piece. What this does is this gives you a great opportunity to take it slow, really make sure you're getting all the details of the piece, the pitches, the rhythms, the dynamics, and making sure that you're starting out with a great quality product that you can then very shortly after start working up in tempo after you've learned the whole thing at that half tempo or slower. Next, make sure you're always using that metronome when you first start practicing and even in the intermediate stages. We want to use that metronome a lot and we want to use it in different ways. In the beginning, we want to put a lot of subdivisions on. So whether it's the 16th note, the triplet, the 8th note, just something that gives us a great foundation to really interpret our rhythms correctly. Then as we advance and get it closer and up to tempo, we want to use it to the quarter note and you can even try some things like the half note and the whole note to really challenge and make sure that you feel the time correctly and throughout the entire piece. You can also use the jam tracks created by Robbie Green, which can be found on my website, www.brad-meyer.com. And these are really fun play along tracks that give even the snare drum piece, a lot of musicality that you can give that snare drum solo a lot more expressiveness and a lot more fun to beyond just playing with a metronome. So enjoy those and use those as well, just like a metronome. You can slow them down with an app like the Amazing Slowdowner and then speed it back up and even play them for performances and concerts with those play along tracks. They're a ton of fun. My next tip is one that I give out constantly, which is to learn the dynamics immediately when you start learning a piece. This does a couple things for us. First of all, it makes sure that we're learning the correct kind of mood and feel of the piece because playing it at just kind of a mezzo boring throughout when we first learn it can make the learning process boring, which can make the solo boring. So make sure you're giving it the correct dynamics and that will help you expand your dynamics later, making you much more musical and much more dynamic in regards to the amount of musicality that you're presenting in that solo. The next tip I have is to actively memorize any solos that you're going to play from memory. So don't just play through it and kind of learn it over and over and just hope that you memorize it. Instead, take one bar, memorize it, take another bar, memorize it, and play them together and keep doing that process over and over until you get to the end. What this will do is it will make sure that you have all the details of the solo ingrained in your brain and you're not just playing it over and over and over, kind of creating this mush of memorization. So actively memorize, don't passively memorize. My last tip in general is to make sure you start every practice session, no matter how short or long, with some technique. So do at least five minutes of technique work, whether you're on snare drum and you're practicing your rolls or you're practicing some kind of rhythmic changes or you're doing your rudiments. If you're on mallets and you're practicing scales or if you're on timpani and you're practicing strokes, make sure you give yourself at least some time every practice session to do some technique. And that practice will cumulatively add up and make you the best player possible that you can be. I hope you enjoyed these tips and best of luck on your audition or performance.